Now we have a slightly more complex example of present value and future value. And we need to find out the value of a debt both to you and from you at a certain particular date, which is the focal date, and which in this example is not today. So let's say somebody should have paid you $300 18 months or a year and a half ago. They didn't pay you, so the interest keeps mounting up. But you know also that you are supposed to pay somebody else $500 in two years' time. What is your net worth in six months' time? That's six months from today. Interest 9% compounded quarterly. Draw a little timeline. So the first X you can see there is the $300 which is due to you. Then there's today and then the focal date. So the time elapsed between today and the focal date is six months isn't it? Because it says what is your net worth in six months time? So it's to the focal date that we're going to do all the calculations. Then the fourth X on the right is the $500 that you should pay somebody in two years' time. First of all, let's find the future value of the $300. You can see that you somebody should have paid you $300 a while back. So by the time you come to collect it at the focal date, you will expect that money to have increased in value. So from the standpoint of the $300 18 months ago, just imagine yourself standing at that first X 18 months ago. The money is going to increase in value all the way to the focal date. So that's why we want to do a future value calculation. Now the PY is going to be 4 because it's compounded quarterly. The IY is 9. Now N. Look at N. First of all, they should have paid you that money 18 months ago or a year and a half ago. But the focal date is half a year, six months on from today. So the total time between that debt and the focal date is a year and a half plus half a year equals two. And the PY is 4, so N is going to be 2 times 4 is 8. Set the PV as minus 300, compute FV, and we get 358.4. So 358.4 is the dated value of the $300 on the focal date. Now we turn to the present value of the $500. That $500 is due at some time in the future. But we want to know its present value, its value now. So in other words, we need to bring it back to the focal date. N. Now, it, we are supposed to get $500 or pay somebody else $500 in two years' time. That's two years from today, but the focal date is half a year after today. So we care only about the elapsed time between the focal date and the $500. So that's going to be 2 minus a half equals 1 and a half. So in this case, n, n will be 1 and a half times 4 equals 6. The future value of that money, that's the maturity value of the money, is minus 500. So put 6 into the calculator. Now notice you don't need to set all the other things again, PY, IY, because they will stay in the calculator until you change them. You just need to put in 6N, and then you need to put in the FV of minus 500, and then compute the present value. And we find that 
the dated value of that $500 is 437.5. Now what's your net worth? On the plus side, that $300 that you are due is something that you own, isn't it? It belongs to you. Will have increased to $358 on the focal date. Now you are supposed to have paid somebody $500 in two years' time. On the focal date, the present value of that money that you're due to pay that person is a bit less, but 437.5. But we have to look at the difference between the two, something that you are due and something that you owe. The difference between them is 79.1. So you have a negative net worth. And usually that's not a very good position to be in. Better get a job. Thank you very much.